WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman with the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network update on this Thursday, the 17th of February. Dow's come back from the lows of the days, down 400. Oops, let me put it up here. I've got gold. Gold, in fact, is up 26 at 1897. 1900, round number high in the futures. It's in the continuous contract. Sorry, that's amazing. A round number, zero, zero. We'll see what happens. We'll talk about that in a moment. Let's just do the Dow. <clears throat> Dow, uh, this is not the pattern we're looking for. There's another little H pattern. Somehow by Friday, with maybe with options expiration, maybe just a smash to the downside. But if there is a bounce, that bounce has to cake out today's high of 34,858. I mean, that's a big uh, ask. Let's see if that can happen. In the meantime, the S&P is down. Uh, let's see, we're looking at the de S&P is down 57 <clears throat> at 44.16, sitting on the 200 period exponential moving average. Wow, not very good action. Q, Q, Q. One, two, three. There we go. Q, Q, Q is the index 100 trading down almost six at 350.14. Also, all of these are making little tiny H patterns instead of a, a V-shaped pattern. Not good. IWM, the IWM is a Russell 2000. Sitting on the, I'm just under the 14-period uh, moving average of 202.80 down 370. This is all. This is actually a better chart pattern as we're looking at it, but it's not a great pattern when you're looking at that weekly chart. We got gold. Gold hit a round number high in the uh, continuous contract of 1900.00. <clears throat> it's trading at 1897.6 right now. Gold is a currency of fear, and there's, there's a lot of geopolitical. Angst going on for good reason, and as a result, gold is the go-to place. I spoke, I had a whole thing, a segment in my uh, Tiger Technician's Hour just a moment ago, talking about gold. Is this going to be gold's opportunity now to follow crude oil? Crude oil at this particular point is pulling back just a tad. It is down 2.68 at 89.17 making a, a high of four days ago, and now we're going to see, doesn't it get a little bit of a digestive phase? TLT is trying to rally here. It's up a dollar, a dollar sixty nine at 137.47. If it's going to make a little V-shaped pattern, it needs to get to the 138, 139 very quickly and hold so that yields can come down. If tomorrow yields come down, bonds, uh, 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 bonds go higher, gold comes down, crude oil comes down, and the VIX actually pulls back instead of going higher. And maybe we can get the Friday options expiration big screen to the upside. Maybe it'll start today, maybe not. Just be careful, think short-term trading, think longer-term, try to absorb it, get as much cash as you can, because when the big load comes, it's gonna be a beauty. In the meantime, be real careful. That's what chapter signing off. See you tomorrow, same time. Stay tuned for Larry Pesavento and great programming coming up.